Ibitemualom a she ni bite tiberen a she ni bite bade adu pe o jesu ibite mualo baba be se o pe mi po mi o le santon ah be se o pe mi po mi o le sotun sugbo o si be si be won o se won ti mo le se baba ala nu mi e ma se o baba be se o pe mi po mi o le sotun Shugba o si be si be Un o she won ti mo le she Baba la nu mi E ma she o baba Thank you Jesus Thank you, thank you Thank you for the gift of life Thank you for the salvation of our souls Glory be to your name We thank you Daddy Please, it has pleased you to brought us this far in 2020. It is not by power, neither is it by mind. It has been by your grace and your mercy alone. Daddy, as we enter into the second half, O oh Lord, Daddy, we ask, Lord, this month in particular, you will turn our song, uh, our story around, and you will give us new songs. We will all sing new songs in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you for the new things you have started last month. Daddy, this month, because of the new things you did last month, you will give us new songs this month in the name of Jesus. You will put new songs in our mouth, songs of praise to your holy name. And as we sing our songs and dance our dance, Daddy, you will draw men unto yourself in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we just thank you. We give you praise, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We are all welcome this morning to the second half of year 2020. This second half of the year shall be glorious for you. Oh, it shall, be the shall be better for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, this particular month, the month of July, by the mercy of God, you will sing a new song. We will all sing new songs in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter the situation of the world. Our story will change for better and we shall sing new songs in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I don't want to, to look at the circumstance and the situation around you. I don't want you to look at what you have experienced in the first half of this year. I just want you, wherever you are, just begin to give thanks to the Almighty God. Appreciate Him. Thank Him for how far He has brought you. For sustenance that you are still alive, there is hope for you. According to... First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. The Bible said, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, concerning me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I just want to say, Baba, oh, I just want to say, Baba, oh, I Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Brethren, we are starting late, but we know God is faithful. We are meant to have started by seven, but we have some technical glitches. Him. But it is well. Thank him for our it is well. We are, are unstoppable. In Jesus' mighty name, we give Brethren, thanks. Brethren, the Bible Brethren, tells us in Leviticus late, chapter 23, we know God is faithful. verse 23 we to 24. By seven, but we have some Leviticus chapter 23, but it is verse well. 23 to 24. 
it is well. We are unstoppable. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, Speak a holy convocation saying, that will be your portion, that will be my portion. Of the month, All these that the Lord spoke to the children of Israelite is still available for us today because we are the Israelite of today. We are the spiritual Israelite. And I tell you, all of them, all the promises of God to them, all signifies joy. You will experience or merit on unspeakable joy this month in the mighty name of Jesus. You may not know how it will suddenly happen that the almighty God, the one that has done it before, we organize for you a memorial of blowing of trumpet this month. It will organize for you a memorial of, of singing new songs and an only convocation for you and your family. It will make you make every day of this month and the, for the rest of this year a Sabbath rest for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you especially this month that nobody by the mercy of God will say sorry to you this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Neither will they drop slippers of sorrows and shoes of sorrow at your doorsteps in the mighty name of Jesus. People will not gather to mourn with you in the name of Jesus. Our Bible text for this month, for this start the month with Jesus, is taken from Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. I will read from two translations. First, for, from the King James Version, and second, from the NLT. I will be focusing more on the NLT this morning. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. Verse 3. And he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God, Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Amen. The New Living Translation says, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. And he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, the pit of hopelessness, out of the mud and the mirror. He set my feet on solid ground and steady me as I walk along. Verse 3 says, He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Amen. This is the word of God for us this month. And it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. This month, just like last month, our theme is, O oh Lord, put a new song in my mouth. O oh Lord, put a new song in my mouth. He will put a new song in your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, this month, from our Bible test, what the Lord is saying to us is that, the Lord will honor your cry and help you out of that horrible pit you found yourself from January 1st to, July, to June 30th in the name of Jesus. Number two, it will lift you out of the pit of hopelessness, out of the pit of sorrow, out of the pit of sickness, out of the pit of affliction and poverty in the name of Jesus. Number three, it doesn't matter the merry clay that you have been put into, that you have been in. The Lord, it will nullify and destroy every damaging allegation, 
and scandalous information that your enemies have been using against you this month in the mighty name of jesus number four what are we saying why will you sing what are we saying number four from the bible says he will set you free from every complicated and unpleasant situation that you have found difficult to set your free from yourself free from from january 1st to now number five it will establish your ways on a solid ground and steady your steps and your paths all through the remaining months of this year it will put a new song of praise in your mouth a song is not yet seen as a song until it's somebody had to come and sing it you will sing your own song this month the essence of getting a new song is to sing it for who for the for god's praise for his glory and for his honor and when you do that men will see it and they will reference god and put their faith in god by the reason of the new song that you will sing this month men and women will be drawn unto god in the mighty name of jesus and finally what is the bible test telling us you will testify of the faithfulness of god this month in the mighty name of jesus somebody will celebrate why am i so sure the bible tells us in leviticus 23 41 b leviticus chapter 23 verse 41 b says you shall celebrate it in the seventh month which month are we we are in the seventh month the month of july brethren you shall have reasons reasons upon reasons to celebrate to rejoice and to sing new songs this month in the mighty name of jesus why will you sing new songs this month and for the rest of this year and for the rest of your 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 your, your living on this part of the eternity because god that is gracious and faithful to his word as said in first peter chapter 5 verse 10 first peter chapter 5 verse 10 said but the lord the god of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by christ jesus after that ye have suffered a while make you perfect est established strengthen and said to you the lord will establish you it will perfect all that concerns you this month it will set to you so this first peter chapter 5 verse 10 implies that this month the almighty god will perfect all that concerns you one number two it will establish your ways number three it will strengthen you no matter how weak you are god you are receiving strength right now wherever you are you are receiving strength in the mighty name of jesus for every lost opportunity of the first half of year 2020 the lord will set to you and compensate you compensation is coming your way in the mighty name of jesus finally as a result of this you will have no choice because of all that the lord has has planned to load you with but to offer to him new songs for his faithfulness and he will continue to be faithful to you he will continue to be faithful to your family he will continue to be faithful to his church he will continue to be faithful to our nations in the name of jesus brethren we need to pray we have come to thank him we have come to pray and we must pray the bible says you must cry unto him and as you cry to him this morning it will hearken unto you but before you can cry and your cry will be heard and cause god to turn back the first thing is that you need to know this god you need to surrender your life to jesus you need to accept jesus as your lord and savior the bible tells us in first john chapter 1 verse 9 first john chapter 1 verse 9 says for we for if if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness wherever you are all over the world oh in your office on the road in your apartment this morning if you have not given your life to jesus the next section you are going to we are going into it might not make sense to you we need to cry to god the bible that the, our bible test tells us in verse one there that i waited patiently for the lord to help me and he turned to me 
and heard my cry. God will hear your cry this morning. And for him to hear your cry, the first step is to give your life to him. Surrender your life to him. Accept him into your life. And as you, as you do so, the Lord will hearken to you. He will give here to your cry this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are ready to accept him wherever, just lay your right hand on your, on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. I know you came to this world. You died on the cross. I know you are the son of the living God. This morning, I invite you into my life. Come and be my Lord. Come and be my Savior. Lord Jesus, I accept you totally into my life. Take over. Take charge. Wash me in your blood and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Daddy, I release these ones that have accepted you this morning into your holy hands. Wherever they are, let there be a sign that today their name has been written in the book of life. Give them the grace to go and sin no more. Therefore, if anyone be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Let everything in and around them become new. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's be upstanding. You can sit wherever you are, but it's time to pray. Start the month with Jesus. It's a time we come together to load our cloud with prayer and we know we serve a god that answers prayer and he will answer you he will answer me this month in the mighty name of jesus our first set of prayer is prayers of thanksgiving we are going to pray to him according to psalm 100 verse 4 psalm 100 verse 4 says enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name Wherever you are, according to this Bible verse, just say, Father, thank you for your faithfulness throughout the first half of this year. Just wave your hands to him and say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for your faithfulness throughout the first half of this year. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the Trinity in Council. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the kind of love you have shown to me. Thank you for protection. Thank you. Thank you for provision. Thank you. Thank you. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. We are still going to thank him more. We thank him more. We're going to lift up your hands to heaven and say, Father, thank you that I am still alive and alive in you. Not only that you are alive, you are alive in Christ. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, Father, I thank you that I'm alive. And not only that I'm alive, I'm alive in you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to your name. We thank you, Lord, with Jesus. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Prayer point number three. Genesis chapter one, verse three. Genesis chapter one, verse three says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Indeed, the light of God will shine through you, will shine through me this month in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to lift your hand to everyone and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your light take over every situation that represents darkness in my life and family in this second half in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your light take over every situation that represents darkness in my life and family in this second half in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your light take over every situation that represent darkness in my life and family in this second half of the year 
in the name of Jesus. Let your light take over, Lord. Let your light, let your light take over. When you say, let there be light, darkness gives way. Let that light of yours, let it shine through my darkness. Let it shine through my darkness. Everything that represents darkness, let your light illuminate them in the name of Jesus. Let them receive your light now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. You are going to lift your hands to heaven and say, Father, as you have promised me a new song, let your light brighten every darkness around me. Let your light brighten every darkness around me. Father, as you have promised me a new song this month, let your light brighten every darkness around me. In the name of Jesus, let your light brighten every darkness around me. Let your light brighten every darkness around me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We want to pray some few prayers from Psalm 126. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 2. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 2, 1 to 2 says, When the Lord turned again, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord will do great things for you. The Lord will do great things for me this month in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to lift your hands to heaven? You want to lift your hands to heaven and say, Oh Lord, for every lost opportunity of the first half of the year, arise, set to me, compensate me, and put new songs in my mouth in this second half of the year in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, for every lost opportunity of the first half of the year, arise, say to me, compensate me and put new songs in my mouth in this second half of the year in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, you are God alone by yourself. Daddy, by the reason of your word, for every opportunity that I've lost in the first half of the year, arise and say to me, not only say to me, compensate me and put a new song in my mouth in the name of Jesus. Put a new song in my mouth in the name of Jesus. Put a new song in my mouth in the name of Jesus. Put a new song in my mouth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We just have a few more to go, and we still have some uh, time. Just focus. Look unto Jesus this morning, the author and the finisher of your faith. And that new song will burst out before you know it in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to lift your hands to heaven and say, Father, this month, in the name of Jesus, I am out of the pit of hopelessness. My mouth is filled with new song. My mouth is filled with new song. Father, this month is a declaration you are making now. Father, this month, in the name of Jesus, I am out of the pit of hopelessness. Oh, and my mouth is filled with new songs. In the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercy and your grace, this month, I am out of the pit of hopelessness. And my mouth is filled with new songs. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh Lord. This month. In the name of Jesus. I am out. I am out of the pit of hopelessness. And my mouth is filled with new songs. 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 In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Prayer point number seven. Still from 
Psalm 126, verse 1 to 2, you're going to, you're going to say, O Lord, my Father, this month, in the name of Jesus, nullify and destroy every damaging allegation and scandalous information that my enemies are using against me. Yes, Lord, Father, nullify and destroy every damaging allegation and scandalous information that the enemy are using against us, are using against your people, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, arise and nullify and destroy every damaging allegation and scandalous information that the enemies are using against us in the name of Jesus. That they are using against me in the name of Jesus. That are using against your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Amen. Number eight. Number eight, prayer point number eight. We're going to say, Father, I'm free from every complicated and unpleasant situation that I found difficult to free myself from that I've been entangled in every complicated and unpleasant situation that I found myself in. I'm free from them today. By the mercy of God, by the reason of the fact that number seven is the number of perfection. Father, this morning, by your mercy, you will set me free from every complicated and unpleasant situation that I found myself in the name of Jesus. Every situation that are not palatable that I found myself in set me free in the name of Jesus. Set me free of them all in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. Glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I don't know who you are but one thing is said to this morning. That on pleasant, complicated situation that you have been struggling with, that you have been struggling to get out of, God is setting you free. You have been set free right now. You are coming out of it and you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that scandalous information that they have been using, peddling all over the place against you, against your family, the Lord will arise this month and nullify them. He will destroy them in the name of Jesus. You will sing a new song. You will testify by the mercy of God. Thank you, righteous Lord. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. Matthew 15, 13 says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. Amen. That sickness shall be rooted up this morning. Everything that is hiding in your body to cause you pain and sorrow, the Lord will root them out in the name of Jesus. That thing that has troubled you, that you are finding difficult to sleep, the Lord will set to you this month in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that makes you to wake up in the death of night and begin to cry this morning by the mercy of God an end has come to weeping in the life of somebody listening to me this morning in the name of Jesus you want to say oh Lord oh Lord this month and for the rest of the year every sickness every sickness hibernating in my body waiting for an appointed time to manifest father or put them in the name of jesus or put them in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray wherever you are oh lord this month and for the rest of this year every sickness hibernating hiding in my body waiting for an appointed time to manifest father or put them in the name of jesus or put them in the name of jesus or put them in the name of jesus thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed i don't know what that sickness is i don't know what that thing represents whether it's a lump whether it's 
is any feeling of pain in any part of your body whatever is behind it right now by the power in the name of jesus the bible said he sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction wherever you are that lump begin to melt out in the name of jesus that unusual pain that sensation in any part of your body ah they are uprooted now in the name of jesus thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen somebody we just have two more prayer points before you have your own two minutes of personal prayer i have my own two minutes of personal prayer psalm 102 verse 24 psalm 102 verse 24 says i said oh my god take me not away in the means of my days the years are throughout all generations you will not die before your time in the mighty name of jesus you will not die before your time your journey you will not be cut short at your prime in the mighty name of jesus say father by your mercy don't let death snatch me away in the prime of my days in the name of jesus father by your mercy don't let death sn suddenly snatch me away in the prime of my days in jesus mighty name yes cry to him father by your mercy don't let death snatch me away in the prime of my days in the name of jesus don't let death snatch me away in the prime of my days in the name of jesus thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name the bible said you shall not die but live to declare the glory of god by his mercy oh death will not snatch you away at the prime of your days you will fulfill your apportioned number of days to the glory of god in the name of jesus so shall it be it is so in jesus name the final prayer before your personal prayer this morning you are going to say father shield my family and your church from every evil attached to this month in the name of jesus shield all the children that are connected to this church cheat all your youth all our youth all the women oh all the men and all our elders shield us in the name of jesus from every evil that is connected attached to this month in the name of jesus shield us oh lord put your mark of touch not upon each and every one of us wherever we go every evil going behind before us don't let us catch up with them every evil coming behind us don't let them catch up with us to the left to the right shield us in the mighty name of jesus let our eyes only see let it not come near our dwelling in the mighty name of jesus thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed so before i pray the final prayer for every one of us including myself i want you to just take two minutes to speak to the one that makes the heaven and the earth just speak to him this morning you know where the shoe is pinching you you know what you want to see this month yes just cry to him cry to him he's here he can hear you yes he's closer than you even could imagine just cry to him this morning yes he start the morning with jesus it's your two minutes to speak to your father cry to him this morning cry to him lord just tell him tell him
let's begin to bring our prayer to a close thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed before we pray the final prayer if you are born in the month of july this is your bat month this if the month is your wedding anniversary wherever you are just shout hallelujah as we shout hallelujah just be upstanding as i pray for you yes celebrate him celebrate her if you are close to them just celebrate them thank you jesus daddy we thank you over the life of your children that are born in the month of july this is their bad month the month of perfection the month of new songs daddy lord god we ask oh lord that you will perfect all that concerns them we pray oh lord that you will lay your mighty hand upon them that if there's any particular information if there's any particular allegation that the enemy has been using to torment this one before now father we ask that you will nullify such allegation you will destroy them in the name of jesus father lord god you will uphold them by your right hand daddy you will give them new songs this month in the name of jesus daddy every marriage that is doing their anniversary this month every family where their marriage anniversary is this month father lord god we pray oh lord if there's any storm that the marriage that, that the home is going through you are the storm stealer so you will steal their storm in the mighty name of jesus you will uphold their marriage in the mighty name of jesus daddy if they their wine if they have run out of wine father lord god you will give them fresh wine for their marriage for the journey ahead of them in the mighty name of jesus you will sustain them by your grace thank you righteous lord glory and honor to your name in jesus mighty name we pray brethren i beseech you all i know you might possibly be on the way on your way you are using earphone but if you can just give two minutes i want to make the final prayer before we end it this morning and it's a declaration i want to make into the life of somebody as we round up i say father by your mercy in this month of july year 2020 i decree over the life of everyone that what you have not what they have not planned for the second half of year 2020 will not destroy their plan in the mighty name of jesus everything that they lay before you according to your plan and purpose for them give them speed to accomplish in the mighty name of jesus father lord god i pray oh lord for everyone under the sound of my voice this morning every of your mistakes and errors of your past that might want to destroy the plan of god for you to sing a new song this month father lord god we nullify such error we cancel them in the name of jesus daddy in this second half but according to psalm 71 verse 21 as many that are under the sound of my voice this morning father lord god increase their greatness and comfort them on every side let them experience peace in an unusual way father in on the seventh day you rested daddy lord god let every day of this month be a sabbath of rest to everyone listening to me in the name of jesus father by your mercy we ask lord this month you will not be none of us will be found where we will not be able to defend ourselves we will not step into places quarters rooms that when they say what are you doing there father we will not be able to defend us don't let us find ourselves there in the name of jesus daddy according to your word in genesis 24 verse 27 this month as many that are under the sound of my voice i decree and i pray for you sincerely your life will not lack the mercy of god your life will continually enjoy the mercy of god in the name of jesus above all this month you will sing new songs to the glory of our god 
in the mighty name of the father the son and the holy spirit so shall it be it is so in jesus name amen i just want to celebrate god in your life thank you for joining us this morning uh it will continue to be available on facebook on our account is rccg underscore hra tell your friends let them connect with us and they can be part of us from this sunday by the mercy of god we'll be having our services every sunday from 7 30 a.m to 9 a.m both the service and the sunday school combined together we'll do it within the hour of one and a half one hour 30 minutes so join us this sunday from 7 30 as we celebrate christ is another thanksgiving just join us and the lord will bless you in the mighty name of jesus and midweek service a midweek service now both bible study and faith clinic has been put on wednesday between 6 p.m and 7 p.m join us on our facebook handler the web the youtube handle will be announced to us as appropriate so the church is marching on and the gate of air will not prevail over it god bless you have a wonderful day happy new month this month the lord will put a new song in your mouth amen god bless you the grace in fellowship may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen go in peace go and win and go and be a representative of our lord jesus christ god bless you it's well with you have a wonderful day